As a kid, one of the greatest project kits to come from Tandy or Radio Shack, aside from PP3 powered 27 MHz walkie talkies with Morse code printed on the front, was in my opinion the spring loaded electronics projects kits. I got one here, a very kind donation. And but before we uh, kick off, I just wanted to uh, offer up a quick potted history of Tandy Radio Shack, a uh, formerly Radio Shack Corporation. Um, it was a trader as an American retailer founded in 1921, which operated a chain of electronics stores for more than 50 years. Um, it uh, closed down in 2017 when uh, it had, uh, I think, 28 corporate locations and 425 independently owned authorised dealer stores. At its peak in 1999, it operated um, in many different countries and uh, filed for, for bankruptcy, unfortunately. Um, I think uh, it was the mobile phone market, the deal that it signed was Sprint that killed it. Anyway, um, a very kind anonymous donation to the cave, a rather tatty, beaten, sprung-loaded electronics kit. Um, uh, and as, as far as when I was a kid, this was just sort of uh, part of my ground training in, in learning electronics. And this enthused me to uh, work with electronics and play with electronics and experiment with electronics as a kid. So um, with a modest number of components, many projects could easily be built by inserting wires into the little spring -a ding ding terminals that you can see. Um, and that would give you the ability to connect components together. And uh, you'd have a manual uh, which uh, allowed you to, or guided you through uh, the creation of each of these different projects, sort of introducing new concepts and providing a sort of structure while still offering you some freedom to tinker. So you'd make something and then you think to yourself, oh, I wonder, can I make it better by doing this? Um, and plugging something else into something else. Anyway, I was always a fan of these project kits and I'd learned a lot um, about playing with them in the past. And I tinkered with, um, you know, the digital side of Raspberry Pi and Arduino and Pi Zeros and all of this kind of stuff. Um, but there is something really special about these old 1980s analog electronics kits and it just captures my imagination and I do like analog electronics it you know it is um, a little bit more mystic than digital stuff which is the ones and zeros anyway uh, I think it'd be instructive to take a look back and see what we can learn from 1982 or whenever it was that these things were created um, there's a lot of varieties of the science fair electronic project kit models. Um, uh, I think they went from all the way from uh, 10 in 1 to something like 300 in 1. And if I remember correctly, the 300 in 1 was quite a space aged kit with big dials and knobs and meters on it, um, and quite an expensive kit as well. But um, yeah, these came out when I was about five years old and uh, they were made in Japan specifically for Radio Shack and imported for resale. Uh, and the man manuals were published by Andrew McNeil Publishing. There's, there's um, a, some resources online, uh, you know, where uh, the people have actually taken the manuals for these and cut them up and, 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 and digitized them, put them in PDF format. So the question ultimately then is, what are we going to make with this? Uh, there's, there's, there's many, many different things. There's a, a, a cat oscillator there is a bird chirp, there's a machine gun sound effects generator. Um, <laughs> yeah, so uh, what do you reckon? Um, uh, or, or should we just do the uh, crystal radio receiver? There's a solar panel missing and stuff like that from my kit, so I think it needs a little bit of, uh, needs a bit of um, work doing to it. But um, what do you reckon? What should we make with one of these? When you were a kid, did you make something with one of these? And um, uh, if you did, uh, is there any specific thing that you made with this that, uh, that stands out? Um, yeah, the comments below, please. Uh, let me know what you reckon and uh, let's have a go at building one in uh, whatever it is in the near future. <laughs>